Hey, can you check my audio, make sure it's working? Hello, everybody. How's it going tonight? Um, can somebody tell me if you can hear me or not? I'm trying to make sure my headset, my sound's going through my headset, but uh, can't really tell. So anyway, I have to, uh, I got to do some work on the truck tonight. I got to change an alternator and just throw a new belt on. So I uh, hear a lot of talk about different people saying, you know, whether or not you should work on your own truck. So I thought it was a good time to talk about it. See if I can do two things at once here. Probably not. I don't know. But you'll get to see why my, all my shirts are always so freaking dirty. <laughs> I did, uh, my batteries were low, so I did charge them before. I'm going to do this alternator here. But uh, I don't know. It seems to be, for the life of me, I can't figure out. Well, here, let me show you. I drug out everything that I should need for doing the job here and just set it all on my table right here. So hopefully I got everything I need and don't have to go wandering off. But if I do, you'll still be able to hear me. Uh, I don't know, for the life of me, I don't know why this is such a controversial topic. I mean, sorry if I have my back to you. I'm, I, can, I can talk to you. Well, uh, I'll read some comments as I can see them here. Uh, it's the business of trucking. It's not the job of trucking. I mean, there's a difference, right? And do you have to work? On, is that saying if you're, if you don't work on your truck, you're not a business person or you're not in business? No, that's not what it, what it's to say at all or anything. What it means, what I mean by saying that is, you know, if you're in business, you or even if you're not, whatever, you have to do whatever it takes to. Like tomorrow I got to go haul a load and I got the flexible pickup time, but my alternator's acting wonky. So guess what? I mean, it's my business. It's mine to take care of. So I got to change this alternator. I mean, and there's degrees of it, obviously. Oh, that one's a little tight. Degrees of it, obviously. Am I going to, you know, tear deep into my engine tonight when I got to pick up a load tomorrow? No, but I mean, if I'm, got a wheel seal out or if I got a bad brake or if I got hell an alternator starter whatever I mean we got to tackle it that's just what it is and for the life of me you know if you got a a big truck payment like let's pick on we pick on the mega carriers right and that's just what we do it's all in good fun or whatever but uh you got a $3,500 a month payment, you know, your warranty could or you could or could or not have warranty, but you can't be going to the T every, every time you need a serpentine belt. You can't go to the loves every time you need a headlight change. You'll go freaking broke. You know, it just ain't, you know, those days, I mean, we could get away with it for a while during the gold rush, but honestly, those days are over. And uh, even during that time, you got to know, you got to know your truck. It, it helps to know your truck. Like I know I've, I've put an alternator on this truck every two, three years. It's just the way it is. I, what I, what I, and knowing that I know what I need to do is I need to go through and change a bunch of freaking wiring. I know that's what my problem is. And I just left this truck sit for a year and didn't use it almost a year. And, you know, I know why this alternator went, I, I can look, inside the fins on here and see nothing but just solid rust and I'm sure the regulators rusted. I'm sure all the wiring is, I mean, it's copper, but I mean, if you look in there, it's just, it's just nothing but green copper wires. So, you know, that'll happen. I, I let it sit while I was doing other things and didn't take care of it. I let somebody use it for a while as a yard jockey type spotter truck and sit in a gravel lot and this is what I get for it so anyway it is what it is but you know I can't take it in for every little thing let me look at some comments uh okay save it's almost better when you don't have money for the mechanic you really figure stuff out fast and you don't have a choice time to send the old truck down the road Oliver how dare you how dare you I thought we were friends I'm just kidding uh uh, for what I need this truck for, 
it, it's perfect. It doesn't owe me anything. And uh, it's, it's perfect for what I need it for. It's a rescue truck when I need to bail out another truck or if I need to move trailers, if I need to just go spot one and go load somebody's load, this truck is perfect for that. It's like old reliable. It just always works, except for when an alternator goes out, right? <laughs> but uh, I think about that all the time, especially after being in that in that uh, Cascadia for a couple of weeks. Whew, the comfort level is off the charts, off the charts. But then I get to thinking, you know what? I don't need to be that comfortable. I need to be home running a business, doing you know business type things. I need to be teaching my guys and other people how to change their alternator, right? Um, need to be teaching them how to change their batteries. Or uh, Cash told me today it's like a thousand bucks to have a have a truck stop put your batteries in. Now I could hardly believe that. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. He's like, no, that's that's true. I'm like, wow. I've been, uh, then I got to thinking, wow, I've been away a while, but then I'm like, no, I haven't. It hasn't been that long. I'm just uh, wrapping up my wires here so nothing makes contact by accident. I do have everything disconnected, but you never know. You never know. Better safe than sorry. I hate getting surprises. So, well, that wire is freaking rusted on there solid. Now, working on your own truck, are you going to break some stuff? Oh, you're damn right. You're going to break some stuff. But you're going to learn how to fix it. It's out of necessity. And you might, at first, cost yourself a bunch of money. Um, you know, you might, uh, I don't know, cross some, you know, doing something like this. Well, you know, what's going to happen, really? Well, worse, you might you might cross some wires or something. Uh whatever strip out something or break a bolt off but you're going to learn and you're not going to do that again uh you learn how things work obviously um and then you know for next time i should uh really pay closer attention to what the hell i'm doing here But what's up with you guys tonight? Who else we got in here? Uh, just remember, every simple DIY mechanic job is one broken bolt away from being a nightmare. It is. It's, it's absolutely true. And uh, one thing I really don't want to do on this truck is change the exhaust manifold. Because I know them freaking bolts are probably rusted in there badly. And if I break one off, I got a real problem. So... <laughs> Measure it out, what you do and don't want to get into, you know, like anything else. Let's see if I can take this bad boy out of here without dropping it on my foot. So this isn't exactly the alternator that is, quote unquote, supposed to be on this truck. This is, it's came, it's a, it came with a 36SI alternator and this is a, what the hell did I put on here last time? 20, 24 SI or 26 SI. I, for the life of me, can't remember which the number is. We'll find out here in a second. Ugh. Let's see if there's a number on this, baby. 24 SI. 24 SI alternator. So, and the thing about Detroit, or uh, Series 60, the nice part, I'll show you here in a second is it can take either one. The 36 SI is a better alternator. This one's lighter and cheaper. And at the time when I needed this one, uh, this last one, I would have had to order a 30, 36 SI and they had the 24 SI in stock and it was $250 cheaper. So I'm like, let's do that. Um, so we did that. Didn't last very long. No, let me blow that out before I try to show you guys sorry about that if i blew that into the microphone
Maybe I won't sit here and do that. That could be too loud in the microphone. Uh, just using the air hose in my my truck here. But uh, I don't want to move the camera. Anyway, the the pad on the on the truck here it's got two holes in the bottom. Either one of these is going to have so the bottom holes are going to be the same on either alternator. The top holes are going to be a little different though. So I got two holes on the bottom. So either alternator will match up with that. And then I got four holes on top. So this smaller alternator, I just slide forward to the next set of holes. The bigger one's going to fit in the other holes. So pretty, pretty simple, pretty standard. Yeah, I hate trying to get this pulley off. I don't have, I don't have a vice mounted yet in my shop. I've been trying to get power out here. Uh, it needs to be run from my pole about 30 feet to the building. And in a small town, the only electrician here is he's booked up till the end of February. So I'm gonna maybe bury the line myself and then see if I can find somebody just to come out and, and sign off it. Then I can get stuff going in here. I'd be doing this inside the shop, but the cell service is uh, there's nothing in there. So I got to stand outside the shop, which it's a nice day out anyway. So we'll just do that. Um, what the hell am I doing here now? Let's uh, cover up that ground wire so I don't arc that sucker on nothing. Get the... Oh, I should cut that tab off first. Probably boring you guys to death, but whatever is what it is. Um, you guys tell me why is why is this such a divisive freaking topic on YouTube? And uh tell me some uh some stories of uh in the chat for you guys of how you uh kind of pulled it off to save the day for yourself or a little job that you did that ended up saving you a boatload of money or getting you out of a, a bad position because uh I've done this in the truck stop before. I had my had my clutch linkage break in the truck stop, and I managed to get to uh, the Petro in Angola, Indiana. There's a Freightliner dealer, right? And basically, they sh saved the uh, share the parking lot, so I parked at the, the Petro, walked and got my linkage, and was able to put it on and save the boatload of money on there because they were, you know, they didn't they weren't able to get me in for like. I don't know, like four days or something. So I'm just like, give me the part. I got my impact in the side box and we'll change that sucker uh, to my damn self. And I did. And everybody lived happily ever after. Tell you what, it sucks driving around with no clutch linkage. You got to you gotta bump, you know, uh, start the truck in gear every time you want to move and then make sure you're ready to kill it when you want to stop because uh, you can't push in the clutch. So, all right, let's get this uh, new alternator ready here. This baby has been riding around in my cabinet in the truck for probably three years. And uh, I was hoping the mice didn't get at it, but it just got a little bit of uh, corrosion on it. So you can see this one's much bigger and the holes are, uh, they match up, they're not offset. So this is a 36 SI. 12 volt, 160 amp. So this is what is uh, supposed to be on the truck. But uh, uh, pay attention here. Let me flip over to the table here now. You can, I can talk to you while I try to pull that damn pulley off. Does that match up? It does. It does, it does, it does. I have a crappy little gear puller that ticks me off every time I try to use it. But first we gotta get the, uh, the nut off of here. See if we can't bump that off here with the impact. Ah, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna have to use this old belt. Well, I hate, that's, that's what I hate about this one. You can't stick a screwdriver in the, in there to hold it or nothing. So I'm gonna need, uh, these are rubber. Let me see if I can hold that sucker with these. 
this rubber glove on. Probably tear the skin off my hand otherwise. Ha, ah, look at that. Gator grip. <laughs> There's seen some comments here. Sterling wheel did my own water pump on the DD15. Messy but easy job. Yeah, those uh, DD15 water pumps, you can, you got a, a couple tools with you. I mean, you can do that on the side of the road if you got some coolant to get you going again. Uh, definitely don't dump your pee bottle in the uh, in the reservoir there. Uh, Shannon Thomas in the house. What the heck is going on here? We're, we're talking about whether or not you should work on your truck while I work on my own truck like a damn fool. Uh, the steering wheel, that exact DeWalt impact is a lifesaver. It is. So when I was looking for impact tools, my local hardware store had DeWalt kits on sale. So I bought everything DeWalt, you know, because once you got the batteries, batteries are the worst part to buy. And uh, looking back, I wish I had spent the extra money to get the Milwaukee because my brother bought all the Milwaukee. I uh, adjust my puller here. My brother had bought all Milwaukee tools and helping him on the farm. Um, Milwaukee's just better. They're stronger, more powerful. They have more uh, things you can you can get, and just uh, they're better. So, uh, uh, but now I needed a new weed whacker, so we went and bought the Milwaukee cordless with the with two batteries and. Uh, so now I have the Milwaukee battery, so I might switch everything over to Milwaukee. I was really not wanting to just go out and do that spend the money type thing. Uh, I don't have enough hands for this. But uh, now that I did, it's game on. I'm going to get the, uh, the three-quarter inch impact because the DeWalt three-quarter inch impact is not a whole lot stronger than the half inch. So that doesn't do me much good. And... Uh, you can watch, uh, you guys can laugh at me when I break stuff. Uh, so the Milwaukee one is, and I know that because I've used them on the farm, and uh, just much better. It's not exactly how I want to be doing this, pulling on this part of it. But guess what? That's how it's going to happen tonight. Um... Towards your Patriot, a lot of what I do is diagnose stuff before going to mechanic. I don't have a shop, so I can't really do a lot of repairs on a gravel lot with no electricity and not all my tools. Yeah, same boat here. Uh, just knowing is half the bet. If you could, if you can go and say, hey, here's what's wrong, fix it. You put a dollar in a diagnosis and, and congratulations, you're paying for it. Uh, save yourself a lot of money. Some shops are going to do it anyway because they're real jack wagons. I don't think I want to do this with the impact, but guess what? We're going to try it anyway. It's probably going to come apart on me, but we'll see. Yeah, she, booger. You rotten booger. Oh, it would help if I went the right way, you know what I mean? Uh, you know when you feel have that feeling that something's going to end badly? Luckily, I do have another pulley if I mess this one up. Yeah, see, I need my wrench. We just need to get a 13 16 wrench. Um, plus, my shop is full right now. I couldn't get the truck in here if and I wanted to. Hopefully, I can find my. I'm missing so many tools, it's not even funny. Seven eighths, that don't work. Eleven sixteenths. Um, where are you? Thirteen sixteenths. Nineteen. Nineteen millimeters, not thirteen sixteenths, is it? No, that would be closer to seven eighths. I don't know. We'll try it. I know I got one somewhere. 
I never did learn the metric system. Remember in school when we were younger, they told us everything's going to be metric by the time you guys are older. I look back and I, I laugh. I laugh. We're so silly. Silly, silly people. You're a pain in the ass. You know that? You damn thing. Yes, I know I can't do two things at once. Ah, yes, you're not right. Somebody reached through the camera here. Give me a hand, why don't you? Anybody see where I set down my my ratchet? There it is. See, this is about how it goes for me all day. This is what I spend most of my day doing, looking for where the hell did I set that down? Uh, Shannon says, loves me some power tools. Any of you guys tried out the Flex Impact Driver? A little cheaper than DeWalt's. I have not. I don't understand the controversy about DIY on trucks. I won't touch brakes simply because of legal exposure. I'm not certified, but I'll try most other things. Yeah, I do agree. The one thing I won't touch is the steering gearbox. Because if you're not the type of person that messes with those things, uh, you're going to screw it up. Sterling would probably hopefully agree with me on that one. They are not to be messed with, generally. Um, open them up anyways. Replacing it, maybe a different story. Um, but opening up that steering gearbox, messing with that, you are asking for a whole heap of liability should something go wrong. And I'm not, uh, I'm not really into that. So we're not doing that. Here we go. Ah, you bugger. Came loose on me. We almost had her. This is where it's really nice to have a vice. You can put stuff so it don't move, and then life is easier. I need to get that done. I have one. I have a I got one from somebody that died. Is that bad? I don't know. Dead man's vice? Is that, is that okay? In fact, I got a, a bunch of tools from that. Sounds just kind of sounds wrong. If you ask me. Boy, this freaking thing does not want to freaking move. I'll tell you that. She moved a little bit. Ah. Came loose on me again. Talk about not to piss off the poop. I hate that thing. Almost off, it's almost there. I know this is exciting. I had one of these one time. I was doing it at a truck stop, fighting with the son of a gun. And uh, I'm like, screw this. So I took it in the shop. I said, could you just pull this pulley off for me? And uh, so I can put it on the other one. They're like, yeah, sure. They freaking worked on that sucker for two and a half hours. Could not get it off. Finally cut the shaft off the alternator and uh, pounded the, the center section out. 
because she just would not go. Hope I'm not in that spot with this one. This thing is so freaking corroded. The worst part is sitting in a gravel lot. You get all that crap in there. <clears throat> yeah, we'll smash it soon. Uh, what else we got here for comments? Can brake shoes be reused if they soaked up in oil due to leaking, leaking oil seal on steer axle or any axle? You should not. You're going to get a violation for that, number one. Number two, uh, those brakes are going to be what we call well lubricated. And uh, brakes don't work well when they are well lubricated. Your brake shoes, anyways. Um, Uh oh, the wife's coming. Now I'm in trouble. Maybe I could get her to hold this for me. What do you think, honey? She's paid she's not she's not paying attention to me. Boy, that sucker just does not want to move. <clears throat> you want to hold this? Try holding this for me. If I had a vice, it'd come easier. Here, you turn the ratchet for me. Just come over here. It's fine. Wife's going to turn the ratchet for me because she's pretty handy that way towards me. There you go. Yeah. Ah, fucker doesn't want to come off. Just keep going. Hold on, my hands. Uh, get a glove on this hand. I'm going to tear my hands up. Just hold it right there. That sucker is seized on there. I might have to take and Get it cut off in the morning. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, slip. Okay, back it. Can flip the ratchet and back it off some. Okay, keep go a little more. Yep. Okay, flip it and give her hell again. No, it didn't. <clears throat> My hands don't work good for a vice. Oh, it's moving a little bit. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't mean to be grunting into the microphone. <laughs> You're a pretty good helper, Mrs. DIY. Or is it Ms? What's the difference? Keep going. It's it's coming. Wait, should we be talking like that on YouTube? I was telling him I got to get the vice mounted, and I got it from somebody who's no longer with us. And is that weird? Oh, we got her. We got her. See, you, you guys see who does all the dirty work around here. <laughs> We're almost there. This is the hardest part of the whole job. If you don't have something to overcome this little problem here. I carry I usually carry a second uh uh pulley, but I can't find it. I usually keep it in the truck, but We're almost there. There we go. Thank you, baby. 
See, so a tool I suggest for everybody's toolbox is a handy wife right there who's not afraid to come and, you know, turn on your wrench a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, brake shoes, you, you really shouldn't reuse them. It's, a, it's another one of those, it's a liability thing where you could uh, get yourself in some trouble. Besides, it's, you're going to lose brake function. So it sucks. I don't know how many times I've had oil mess up a brand new brake shoe. And I got mountain brakes on my truck, and they're freaking expensive, and nobody ever has them. So um, they're about twice the cost of your standard brake shoe and drum. Uh oh, okay, here, me. No brake lining material can be used after being soaked in oil. See that? Yep, there you go. Milwaukee M18 series red lithium platform is the best. Is very nice. Yeah, that's what I'm switching to. I'm not getting rid of my uh, DeWalt stuff. I'll definitely keep it. There is nothing wrong with this DeWalt stuff. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just the Milwaukee's got more options. And, and from my comparisons of working on the farm equipment and stuff with them, they're just more powerful. Uh, cash is king in the house. I am listening while naked. That's disturbing. Steve ND86 says, me too. Why is everybody watching naked? Uh, okay, Felipe, dangerous to be naked when DIY has his impact out. Hey, I'll, I'll torque on it a little bit. What, what are you saying? Uh, Cash is king, you're out of your mind, bro. Where is Fate? He's out. So Fate and I have this arrangement. He goes out breaking stuff, and then I stay home and fix it. It's like a like a, a perfect uh, relationship, right? Uh, what's he fixing? I'm late. I'm just putting an alternator and a new uh, serpentine belt on in between me talking to y'all. I see the controversy on the Thermal King APU forum. I'm in when someone has a zero mechanical knowledge and wants to fix their own APU and can't even articulate the problem nor has done any diagnos diagnosis. Yeah, so I mean, if you don't tinker a little bit, I mean, don't go messing stuff up if you can help it. You don't learn how things work. And if you don't know how things work, uh, pretty hard to diagnose. So there's that. I'm just a big fan of learning about your stuff. So we're going to put, eh, I don't need any lube on there. We're good. We're going to put this uh, pulley on this new alternator here. Why the, will the nut one not throw it on? There we go. Now somebody's going to have a problem with what I'm about to do. I'm going to put this nut on. I'm turning the impact down to the lowest setting and I'm just going to just bump it on. I'm not torquing it with this. You don't want to put this sucker on tight with an impact. Oh, I forgot. I can't do that anyway. I don't have the uh, the key for in the middle. Forgot about that. Um, let me go get uh, some Allen wrenches here. What size is that sucker? Anyway, see, just when I thought I had all my tools out, I don't. I don't. Uh, are these big enough? That is probably not big enough. Let's see if we got anything bigger. Yeah, that's what she said. See, you can make all kinds of stupid jokes working on your own stuff. So yeah, I got a, I got a, a load of potatoes that I don't have anybody to cover tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, go do it myself. Okay, we got the right. Oh, crud. Now I can't find my 13 16 wrench that I need. Uh, plan B. I know I got, I know I got it it's in the truck. I just got to get up my big, my big boy wrench set that is probably buried because that's what I do. I carry too much stuff in the truck. Too much or not enough. So how you look at it. it must be in my other side box. Let's go find that. And this, this big wrench set I got, I got from a, a Mr. Tool. That very same Mr. Tool that's in the Petro Truck Stop in Angola, Indiana. 
I got me one of these big wrench sets for like, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks. And I use this sucker, I mean, all the time. All the time. One of these roll up kits. So here, 13, 16, where are you at? Right there. Ta da! Yeah, I'll show you the rest of the wrenches that it came with. Like, I don't know, 50 bucks, something like that. I don't know, probably 10 years ago, though. Goes from 3 eighths to inch and a quarter. I used the inch and, inch and a quarter. There's an inch and a sixteenth. I think it's inch and a sixteenth all the time to do shock bolts. So, wait a minute. Is that not the right wrench? 15 sixteenths. See, I was wrong anyway. I don't know my sixteenths very well. Um, Hold it, turn it by hand. I think the torque on this, damn it, what is it? 70 to 80 foot pounds. Uh, that's about yay tight, if you know how tight yay tight is. Sterling probably knows. He was a mechanic, much more of a mechanic than me. Uh, the most important tool is my OTR diagnostic tool. It's paid for itself many times. I did a review on the OTR tool. Absolutely love it. I think it's a great tool. I would say, you know, just use it for a tool. Don't play mechanic with it. You could get yourself in trouble. You could void your warranty going in and resetting codes and stuff. Um, so use it for reference. Wait, is this not the one I was using? That's not the one I was using, was it? Sure it was. Um, learn how to use it. You get yourself out of a couple pickles with it, it's paid for itself. Um, keep yourself off the hook. Or, you know, if you see, hey, I got this code, and it's just this stupid little code. Uh, I know it's, it's something about alternator. I'll jump out and go check my wires going to the alternator, and you find a loose wire. Tighten it up, bada bing, bada boom. It's paid for itself one time uh and the rest after that is gravy but uh yeah it's don't misuse it or go above and beyond your capabilities with it which you could you could get in you could change stuff i had a dude worked here went and bought the the russian dd15 software on his laptop he went in and started tinkering in his ecm and messed up all kind of stuff <laughs> like like all kinds of stuff truck never quite ran right after that but uh it's hey you know it is what it is okay now we're getting down to about uh where we're going to be here so I'm just gonna give her one of those she's pretty good and then after I put these on, I'm obsessive about checking this nut, like for a week or so, just to make sure. I, I obsess about having things stay together after I work on them. Um, Shannon Thomas, oh sweet, I know how to do it on my Jeep. 19 is three quarter, that's what I was thinking. I really need to learn metric. Uh, I only learned the metric weights. Hold it by the pulley and smack the spindle with a hammer, watch your toes, okay. You sound like my ex-wife with that pain in the ass comment. <laughs> Which oh, okay. Oh, she, your ex-wife said you were a pain in the ass. It's in Cash's King's pocket too. How many millimeters in one pound? Uh, I don't know. I know there's 454 grams in a pound, and so then there's 32 ounces in a pound. So 454 divided by 32 would be whatever. How many ounces in a uh, grams, whatever, I don't know, math, math. I, I didn't pay attention too much in math. I'll be honest with you. I don't miss working on mid-80s cars. Engines were metric. Chassis was SAE and body was torque. Who's the, who's the knucklehead that ever came up with 
uh, using these Torx head fittings. What's the purpose? So they can sell you more tools and create a huge pain in the ass when you strip something out and you never quite have the one that fits because you lost it using it last time? It's a pain in the ass, if you ask me. What was I doing? Did I tighten this down already? It's a good question. I told you I can't do two things at once. I think I did. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, what am I doing next? I cleaned that out. Uh, let me let's uh let's clean up these bolts a little bit. I always use anti seize on my bolts here. That's why they come out uh, without any trouble. Last thing you want to do is break a bolt off in there. Uh, that would be a pain in the tuchus. That's a scientific term. A lot of times, anti seize is your friend, especially on shock bolts. Um, breaking stuff off to me is the death sentence because I don't have a welder where I could weld a nut on it or something and get it back out. So that would really suck. And then I got a you know, the truck won't run. We'll have to have somebody come out. So I was a big fan of the rocking it back and forth type thing. Maybe trying to tap it loose a little bit before getting that far. Oh, this alternator is way heavier than this one. Somebody want to come and hold this for me? Hold this for me while I put a couple bolts in. Let me get my my bolts. And he seized up here a little bit. Here's a poll. I'd put up a poll right now if I could. You guys can vote on it. Um, some people call it anti seize. Some people call it never seize. What do you call it? Even the even the bottle says anti seize, but some people call it never seize. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Especially on his older equipment type stuff, it's already corroded. You don't want to. Uh, I have these get too rusty in there. So I have a buddy that used to tell me, if you don't look like the Tin Man when you're done, you didn't put enough on. But there is such things too much, I feel. Tell you what, I'll switch the camera back to the truck. So when I drop this and swear, maybe it'll land on my toe. Y'all can laugh at me. Whatever you need to do, feel free. <gasps> I should have Mrs. DIY here right now, helping a brother out. Right? Yeah. Ooga, 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 ooga. Definitely an ooga booga scenario. There we go. We got one hole. I got it, honey. We're good. Thank you, though. See how helpful my wife is? She's awesome. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're making a spark there. It's not what I want to do. It's not how I want to live my life. And wire come loose here. Oh, you dirty bugger. There. I need to be more careful. Anybody ever get a 12-volt shock? They hurt. I've only got one. I'm not doing this, but... Um, yes, man. We must be brothers. I need advice, too. Have you tried meth, Sterling? Uh, I hear meth is a dandy of a vice. Or, you know, have you been to Tijuana? Just saying. 
all kinds of vices down there, from what I hear. So I'm using a different set of holes on the left side with this uh, than what the other one was in. which is all good. It's getting dark out here. I can't hardly see what I'm doing anymore. Uh, somebody tell me where I'm gonna put my ratchet again. There it is. J Max says, I never had to deal with a truck steering box. Are they recirculating ball like old cars? I just avoided opening these, just repair and replace. That's the best thing to do. Um, there's a whole Sterling, what are, what are those things called that are in there? Got to line them up. Uh, damn it, words. No, it's not a it's not a recirculating ball. Heat the pulley a bit. See, my torch is over in the garage, and that's like distance walk, bad stuff. See what I'm saying? You get all that? Yeah. Okie dokie. What else is going on here? I got some of that cool locks for my personal vehicles, AC and some Infinity Lube fuel locks as well. Thanks for the discount. Yeah, give it a try. We're loving that cool locks. Steering box is worm gear mostly. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Uh, what am I doing here? All right. Now we can go hooking stuff up. Bigger hammer required? I got one of those. There are so many, that's what she said is happening. There is. I know, right? Uh, Cash is king tracking 39,720 Philippine pesos. What, is, what does that buy you? Hopefully she brought a propane torch. I have changed my alternators during a snowstorm in the dark, and then Cash has sold gently used mattresses at a truck stop. <laughs> I don't know about that. I've seen the man sell some mattresses. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Some sketchy ones, too. Why is that hitting my stupid uh, dipstick tube? That shouldn't happen. It didn't used to happen with my other... Alternators, I don't like that at all. I'll adjust that henceforth and whatnot. Uh, we got to get that nut off of there for for the uh, positive cable. The other one I had grounded to a bolt hole. This one actually has a place for a ground on it. So we're just gonna use that like we should. Yeah. Hey, it can't get hard to get my hands in there. My hands are too big. angle of the wires are different on this one also. I should have maybe just went and got another 24 SI. But those things are 550 bucks now. The last time I, I bought that other one, it was uh, I don't know, maybe 300 bucks. 
that was probably 20, I don't know, what year would that have been? 2019, perhaps? Ooh, dang, almost lost her. Oh, use the right size socket, you doofus. Where did I put it? Come on now. You guys give me something to talk about. I'm probably boring you to death. Has anybody ever done this before? Live stream while they're doing this dumb stuff like this? Heat that pulley. Oh boy, this is live as wild. <laughs> That's about as wild as they get. Hey, Miss Kelly, buy this man a vice for Christmas. I have her father's vice. I inherited it. And uh, I just need to get it mounted. But priorities, I need electricity first. I need A man has basic needs. Electricity is one of them. Uh, you'll see another project I've been doing here. Just edited the video today that this other project, I guess, it didn't really, probably shouldn't have came first, but it involved somebody else's schedule. So it had to be done on their schedule. So that video will come. Oh, Sterling with a $5 super chat. I appreciate it. I'll buy me a new bottle, half a bottle of NECs. It'll never come off with all of us watching. Man, I'm very behind on comments. Grunting, intensifying. <laughs> yeah, grip like a vice, right? Uh, how do I get such a strong grip, you may speculate. We all know who the mechanic is in the family now. Yeah, I'd be ashamed to, to admit all the different things I've had her do for me. Like, I'm pretty uh, open that I'm scared of heights. So anytime there's something up high to do, I ain't going to lie. Uh, <laughs> she probably ends up doing it. It ain't really the heights. It ain't even really falling. It's that sudden stop at the bottom. Uh, we might have to examine your man card, DFI. Yeah, that's funny. So the shop took them two hours, but it took you about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, they don't always come off. That was uh you dare call me. You can go away if it's broken. Uh, if that was an advice to come off, I'm But I had to use a tiny advice here. And I need a longer jaws on that puller. I need a bigger puller to go all the way around. Just parked for the night in Oregon. Been listening. You remind me of my granddad. That's a major compliment. Well, I appreciate it. I'm probably about as old as him, too. No lube, huh? Where's the love? At the bottom of the lube bottle. Rock and Robin says, I've done batteries, surge tank, EPF filters, belts, and water pump myself on my DD-15. I enjoy doing this stuff myself. There is a certain sense of satisfaction. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, sense for mile, don't you have employees to be doing this for you? I, I don't. Uh, yay tight, very familiar with yay tight. There you go. See, it's a... Uh, it's uh, part of the Kelvin system of measurement, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. So it's, it's part of that. Doesn't how, matter how many tools I put on the truck, I'm never going to have the right one. That is that is true. Oh, Bernie's calling. Everybody say hi, Bernie. Bernie, I'm live right now. You should be watching, and uh, I'll have to get back with you. I was hoping that everything's normal in your area. I keep seeing the flood news from florida yeah trucking with cliff hit the like button thank you one troy ounce is 31.1 grams but ordinary ounce makes 28.3 grams there you go see golden knows math permatex there you go never sees with a brand name i believe oh okay um, just a dab of anesthes and an hour later you can look like a thin man that's for sure uh, football players should put it under their eyes for keep the sun down. 
you can get some cheapo welder for a hundred bucks. Always nice to have. Even got a plasma for around that price. Cuts half inch steel, no problem. You're right. I really have no good good excuse other than I just haven't gotten around to it. I mean, electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I have electricity in the house. I got two twenty plugs in there, but need it out here in the shed. Uh, the welding will be much better. So do that. You guys want to see what a horrific mess my shed is right now? I got a broken down lawnmower here. I got to put new cable and belt on tomorrow. Four wheelers running, but the thing in front of that has a flat tire that needs changing. And I pretty much have been putting tires wherever, so bear with me here. You can see what a messy shop looks like. There you go, shop tour. Uh, really not into spending a ton of time to clean all that up right now. It has no priorities and such. Yeah, prayers to those in the area of the hurricane. Alter never hit your alternators never hit your toe without grazing your sack. Ask me how I know. Well, you don't want to get that those sharp edges. They got a lot of the sharp edges on them. Any season ain't a disease, but it acts like one. It spreads everywhere. There you go. I thought with the title there would be more cussing. Well, try to keep it PG. Sterling has a Santa sack. Got to unload some of those presents. Uh, DIY Wisconsin cusses. By golly. Yeah, bad gummit. You will. It really ain't got nothing left to do with just hook up the wires and put the new belt on. So you guys really don't need to watch me do that, but maybe you do. I don't know. I'm going to go until you guys abandon me, leave me off enough. I got to be the weirdest person in here. Why don't we use the rent bag? Must have. I adjusted that. Uh, I can't be trusted around a plasma cutter, Sterling says. I have saved a ton of money doing my own repairs thanks to many of your videos. Well, thank you. Just, uh, just try. You're not going to hurt too much. Things on the outside of the engine, you're not going to hurt too much. You might break it and need a new one, but not like busting a piston or something. So I'll have to put a new one on. He's using flower pots to plant the wife's flowers. This is all a joke. Wow, who's the joke now, Bay Trucking? I would say they're easier and safer to use than torch, but both have their purpose. You can do it. Yes. I inherited my father's vice also. I'm on step four. <laughs> That's a good one.
That's the thing about the 24 SI. We make some on the other. Getting dark, I can no longer see. Somebody knows off your head. I'm not scared of heights, I just don't bounce anymore. What's up, everyone? Hey, do you have two in your trucks or verify the ECU is correct? Parameters. Ow! Oh, I what, what? Uh, I'll go yeah, by the truck. And, uh, Wild swings. Something that's you get used to is just the uh, wild swings in the cash flow, like This program brought to you by Gojo Scrubbing Towels for all your dirt bag, greasy ass hand needs. I don't want to touch the camera and the phone anymore with these dirty hands. But, uh, I don't know. I'm probably born to hell of you guys. I was thinking on stopping in Pittsburgh Power next time I'm in Pennsylvania to see if. They can do a tune just to optimize the trim better if possible. You know, I nothing definitely nothing against the mild tune. I mean, to go like radical, some of these guys do like 800 horsepower. Honestly, that'd scare me a bit because you know, engine blocks are are expensive, and this is my this ain't really a hobby for me. Trucking's never building trucks or working out. It's never been a hobby. It's always necessity, and that's how I make my money and pay my bills. Feed my family. Maybe someday. More into tractors and trucks. I'd rather tinker up a tractor. You know? 
when fastener salesmen come around, you show them up by heating up your old bolts and their new ones to see which breaks first under the heat and pressure. I don't. They don't come around. They call. <laughs> that uh, what's it called? Imperial Supply. We got a different video. They call, freaking nonstop. They just irritate. I finally just closed my account. Don't call me. Now. I have to pay more money somewhere else. All those diesels in the driveway and no way to generate electricity. Yeah, I know. Did my headset crap out? Connect your headset to StreamYard? It's it should be. It was. Let me uh let me see if it came undone. Settings. Audio. Default. Um must have came undone. Is this any better? Hello? Y'all tell me if that's better. Maybe it's better. Your headset mic is off? Okay, I got that fixed. I would put them dang tractors in the grass where they belong, then you could work on those rigs inside like a real mechanic. No, man, tractors are worth more to me. They mean more to me. At least we aren't staring at an empty chair. <laughs> Watch my mechanic do an overhead. Uh, yeah. Is it a long run from your house to get electricity? No, I have the power pole. I just run an extension cord off the power pole 30 feet. How, it's a long ways to the house. It's, I don't know, 150, 200 yards. Uh, electricians are expensive, too. If you weren't all the way to the rest of the country, I'd send my lineman sons to run your electricity. There you go. If you can't stick around to the end. Have a good night. Thanks for coming in, Sterling. Thanks for the super chat. Somebody else. Yes, man. $20 super chat. I appreciate it. We know that when the camera is off, you have your wife out there working on the truck. Yeah, I'm just going to quit. She's going to come and finish this. Wrap it up. <laughs> Bet there's 20 deer just hiding out in those dang pine trees. Uh, we've been, a friend of mine are busy building a food plot back a uh, quarter mile back in the woods. And uh, we're going to build a deer haven back there. Everything's legal. Don't have to sleep. But uh, put in all their favorite kinds of grasses and um, these crab apple trees, which you can do, you just can't put apples in the ground. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, man, thanks again for Super Chat. Audio is the same. Didn't connect it, but we can still hear you. No oh, crap. Sounds good now. All right, I apologize for that. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. It's getting dark here. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose camera stuff anyway, so I'll just finish this up for the night. And everybody, thanks for coming in, man. It was really really awesome. I don't know, probably boring, but I got to talk to you and kill some time. So I appreciate it. We'll see you uh, in the next video later. <laughs>